from Lions Clubs International. This is LQ, Lions Quarterly. We begin with Lions Clubs International, the founding, the first in a series of centennial videos. Nineteen seventeen. A pivotal year in history. A time of immense social and political change. Most of Europe was engaged in World War I, which the U.S. entered that year. In the U.S., cheap labor and the development of the assembly line had led to rapid industrial growth, which in turn brought many social problems. Child labor, crowded tenement districts, high mortality rates, and rapidly spreading diseases were common. Chicago, Illinois was a center of transportation, architecture, manufacturing, and commerce. It was a magnet for immigrants seeking work. Reformers in Chicago, including Jane Addams, the founder of Hull House, called for improved social conditions in their communities and the country. Among those looking for ways to help others was Melvin Jones, a successful insurance man. He was secretary of the Business Circle of Chicago, a lunch club established in part to help its members grow their businesses. However, Jones had a different goal in mind. I am finding out that you do not get very far until you start doing things for others. And I am beginning to believe that I can help some of the clubs, like the circle, to have feelings in their hearts. Jones's words struck a chord with his club, and the circle gave Jones permission to invite similar groups across the country to a meeting to discuss forming a new kind of club. We are now seeking to make our organization international and write to inquire if you would affiliate with us and at some future date, we can adopt bylaws and a name that will be suited to all. June 7th, 1917. The first meeting was held at the Hotel LaSalle in Chicago. The Chicago Business Circle and several other groups attended. Dr. William Woods led a delegation called Lions Clubs to the meeting. This group had been registered in Indiana since 1916 and had clubs in a number of other states. Melvin opened the meeting and shared his vision for the new club. The attendees were receptive. Dr. Woods suggested the groups adopt the name Lions and pay dues of $1 per member semi-annually. Melvin and the others seized the opportunity to merge the existing clubs into a new, bigger, stronger organization. And the lion was the perfect symbol. Immediately, Melvin began a letter-writing campaign to attract additional clubs into this new organization more focused on serving others. In August, Melvin and the members of the Chicago Business Circle formed the Lions Club of Chicago, now the Chicago Central Lions Club. October 8, 1917, the first convention of the International Association of Lions Clubs opened in Dallas, Texas, in the Adolphus Hotel. Delegates from 22 Lions Clubs in nine states voted to keep the name Lions and adopted the logo of a lion holding in its mouth a club inscribed International. They also approved a principle that has guided Lions Clubs ever since. No club shall hold out as one of its objects the financial gain of its members. Dr. William Woods was elected president. Melvin Jones was named secretary treasurer and authorized to establish a headquarters in Chicago. At the end of the Dallas Convention, the new International Association of Lions Clubs had 800 members and $72 in the bank. November 1918, the first edition of the Lions Club magazine was published. It contained a copy of the Lions Code of Ethics, which required a lion to aid my fellow man by giving my sympathy to those in distress, my aid to the weak, and my substance to the needy. 
It also contained news from the clubs about Lyons projects for improving waterways, medical clinics, and public libraries. Lyons were also active with many youth projects, including fundraisers for children's hospitals and Boy Scouts. Having fun while helping others was part of Lyons from the beginning. A clothing drive for veterans led to an unusual sight of Lyons parading down the street of their town. By 1919, Lyons had grown to 42 clubs across the U.S. with more than 2,300 members. Some of the early clubs had women members, but soon the Constitution and bylaws limited membership to men. It would be almost 70 years, until 1987, before women were again welcomed as members. In 1920, Lioness clubs were established. Many women served alongside family members who were lions. Also in 1920, in Ontario, Canada, Lions established the Border Cities Lions Club, now called the Windsor Lions Club. It was then that Lions Clubs became international. Hundreds of packages of food arrive at this neighborhood center in Argentina. As food is unloaded and sorted, a crowd gathers inside. Hunger, especially malnutrition in children, is a major problem in low-income communities such as this one. When Lions here saw the need, they took action. It's important to help poor people and assist the community. It's a way of life for us. That's why we are Lions. I want to thank the Lions for helping me and my five children. These donations will really help my family. No family should go hungry. That's why Lions are addressing hunger one community at a time. It's made a big impact. I'm especially grateful for the milk for my children, as well as myself, because I'm pregnant. None of this would be possible without cooperation between Lions and Leos. When we work together, we are better able to help the community with more volunteers and more donations. We all learn from each other. We learn the experience from older Lions, and we get the energy from the younger. When all ages of lions come together, we form a family. I have great respect for the way everyone works and how they motivate each other. The Morello family has three generations serving in lions clubs, including their extended family. Comunidad en familia. Working together as a family to help the community is great. It also helps our family to be stronger. I'm very proud to share it with my family because uh, serving is an experience that you can't explain with words. It, I think it's something you have to feel. I like the way the Lions all work together to achieve a goal. I love volunteering. Having fun as they serve, the Lions and Leos look forward to continuing their efforts to help those in need. Whether it's surfing, baseball, biking, or golf, people with visual impairments are inspiring others with their can-do attitude. And lions are behind them 100%. When Helen Keller challenged lions to become Knights of the Blind in 1925, she probably didn't have surfing in mind. I surfed all my life until I was blinded. And then I didn't know how I would be able to surf again until I found out about this program. The California Lions annual blind surfing event draws people of all ages and abilities. Beautiful! But what they have in common is a willingness to put their trust into others and the courage to try new things. These people who participate, they look forward to this all year. Deep baseball gives people with visual impairments a chance to hit one out of the park. Every play is pretty exciting, or a diving catch, or tackling a, a base of some sort, because you're trying to find it and knock it down. Lions sponsor teams and volunteer at the annual Deep Baseball World Series. One, two, three, run! Helps them achieve a sense of normalcy, where they can actually participate in a team sport and just have a lot of fun while they're doing it. I caught a fish. 
In North Carolina, lions host a fishing tournament for hundreds of people with visual impairments. It causes me to go out and mix with other people and take chances and do things that I would never do if I didn't have them behind me. Lions enjoy helping and getting to know the participants. I'm not saying that I'm the best fisherman, but I know how to help people fish. And to me, the thrill I get from helping someone catch perhaps their first fish, that's why I come. In Arizona, tandem biking lets sighted lions and leos and those with visual impairments team up for fun and exercise. We ride around the perimeter of Tucson. With tandem biking, you can get blind people out, showing them that they can get out and do stuff. It's kind of scary, but I like it. You have to put that trust in them. Riders have trained for El Tour de Tucson to raise money for a new Lions Vision screening van. And if they can't hear us, and if they can't hear us, we use a microblast. Blaster. Lions in many states offer summer camps for people with visual impairments that provide opportunities for recreation, including golf. Camp Dogwood gives the campers an opportunity to expand their physical horizons past what they thought they could do. They learn perseverance. You can do whatever you put your mind to do. There's no limitations. It's a great experience for us, and it's just a lot of fun. No matter what the sport, they inspire. And seeing them in action and enjoying the adventure is a great feeling for everyone. In 1947, Lions founder Melvin Jones boarded a plane with a group of lions and visited the beautiful tropical paradise of Hawaii. This year, retrace the footsteps of Melvin Jones at the 98th Annual Lions Club's International Convention to be held June 26th through 30th in Honolulu, Hawaii. This enchanting island paradise is filled with diverse beauty, including Polynesian culture and dance, vibrant island flora, majestic tropical landscapes, and serene ocean waters. This convention in Hawaii is not to be missed. Hey, Kobo Hawaii! Welcome! The Lions of Hawaii look forward to hosting the 2015 convention because it's an opportunity for us to share our aloha spirit. And you'll meet fellow lions from all over the world. What I like most about convention is it gives me the opportunity to meet friends and learn more from my co-lions from other countries. The state-of-the-art Hawaii Convention Center is where you'll find lion exhibits, shopping, seminars, and more. Germany! The plenary sessions unite lions from around the world under one roof to hear from our leaders, share past successes and future plans. You'll be entertained and inspired and take new ideas back to your club. Today, we are privileged to be launching our Centennial Service Challenge. The plenary sessions are kind of the payday we're always talking about. You find out what's happening, and you learn what all your service gives to. We have reached 20 million children screened. 20 million children screened. There are also many opportunities to develop new skills and learn from other lions at seminars on topics ranging from leadership to social media. It gives you this motivation to do more and to do better. I really learn a lot. And celebrate the international in our association at the annual parade. And I just see the smiles and the languages and the people and the cultures, and I can't believe that we're all here. We look forward to seeing you there. Aloha. Send your story suggestions to LQ at lionsclubs.org. Be sure to like and share LQ on social media. LQ is available on our website, YouTube, iTunes, and DVD. Thanks for watching LQ, Lions Quarterly.